Hi everyone, so Sol 2.0 is out and do check out my latest release on the channel about how to install that step by step guide. Today I'm going to show you how to install the new preview version 1.69 custom shader patch to mash them both together and get this awesome gameplay that you can see here. So this is a step by step guide and as you can see by this footage they look stunning together. I also just want to thank you all for your continued support. This video is going out on Christmas Eve. It's been a fantastic year for me and you guys have really helped me to grow the channel. So if you do like what you see here, click on that subscribe button and press that like button guys. It really helps me with YouTube. Okay then, let's jump right in. So if you followed my last video, you'll have Sol 2.0 installed. And the next thing we need to do is download from X4Fab on Patreon, this custom shader patch 1.69. Now you do need to subscribe to his channel to actually get this. I think it's $5 plus tax, so that's $6. You can cancel this subscription straight away, so you just have one month for $6. And if there are any more releases in that month, then obviously you can download them and you get access to the whole thread and all the help within the thread. So I'm just gonna show you the basics here and how to install and a little bit of troubleshooting and show you how to configure this amazing Rain custom shader patch. So what we do is we click on it and download as per normal and it will just go into your standard download location. And what we're gonna do is drag that over to our desktop. Again, this is a very simple drag and drop into content manager, but there things change a little bit. So I'm just gonna show you how it will look. Clicking on the three green bars then will bring up the standard lights patch 1.69 preview as you can see there. And it shows you what version you're currently on and what we're going to install. So we'll just install that and there we go. So remove completed and this is where it looks a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is go to settings and custom shader patch and just the about and updates. Now as you can see here we don't actually now have any dots on the right hand side. The installed currently active patch is the 1.69 preview one. So this is where it looks a little bit different. So if you do click on any of the other version so any of these versions down here then you will just need to drag and drop this in again that's how high I do it anyway and that seems to work for me just while we're in the settings as well I'm going to click on particle effects and I'm actually going to make sure that this new flames effect is active and you'll see this in some of the gameplay on the McLaren P1 and it looks absolutely awesome so do click on that if you've not got it running so far this next section is only for install if you don't have exterior sound on the rain and also the windscreen wipers. So what we're going to do is go to the custom shader patch homepage and I will put the links for everything in the description below and we're going to download 1.52. Now this raw file we're not going to drag into content manager as per normal. We're just going to extract it because we only want one piece of it. So I'm just going to extract this to my desktop as per normal and it's going to give me a mods folder. Now we're not going to copy all of that folder, we just want one piece of it. So if we go into the mods folder, you will see here under extension there is an SFX section with um, an extension .com and back. What we're going to do is copy that SFX folder and we're going to drop it into a set of Corsa. So Steam, Steam Apps, Common, a set of Corsa. And extension there. And what we're going to do, we can see that folder in there, we're just going to right click in space and replace the files in there. Now that will fix any sound effects issues that you've had. If you don't have that, then you don't need to do it. Here we are then at the Red Bull ring where I had the Porsche in the last video. And today we've got the McLaren P1 in this stunning yellow. And I'm sure you'll agree, Sol 2.0 is looking fantastic. This is all the settings that I had in the last video. But today we're going to make it look pretty in a very different way and that's with as much rain as we can get. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up this standard app here. So this is the dynamic weather app from Sol 2.0 and I'm just going to cycle through a few of the different weather effects. Now I'm not changing anything else apart from these weather effects within Sol 2.0. And this is one of the big changes within Sol 2.0 and the new custom shader patches that they actually talk to each other and they're all linked together. So if I click on light drizzle here, you can see that not only is the sky and the effects changing, but there is now a little bit of rain. You can't really see it, it's very, very light. If I zoom up to the car, there's a tiny bit on the car there. But let me cycle through some of the other rain effects on here. So moving on to drizzle you will start to see some very subtle changes so all the lighting changes the lights look great on here still 
nothing really happening to the track yet but if I go a little bit closer to the car you can see there's a little bit more rain on the car I love the drips that come off the wing mirrors and also underneath the car it looks fantastic and you can see I've got auto wipers on so the wipers have actually started to work and I'll show you more about that later in the video so let's move on to heavy drizzle so right away you can see now that custom shader patch and solid talking together and look how that is actually covering the tarmac so a few little puddles it's dry but it's just starting to rain that is an awesome effect that is really really cool and of course this marries up perfectly with what Sol is doing to all the weather effects actually in the sky now if I click on clear you'll see that it starts to clear up and but you still have a, a little bit of a wet track so you could actually drive in that way too now you can actually change these individually and I'm going to show you that in the video as well you can go into the back end of um, the rain effects and actually change these I'm going to show you that in debug mode now if we do change it now to no clouds that will clear the track completely still a little bit of rain on the car I'm sure that will stop um, but you can see now you can drive it as per normal let's take a look then at some of the heavier rain effects so if we click on light rain we can see the clouds developing and I still love how they materialize these are all the 3d clouds again the same settings that I had on the last video tarmac's not really changing much you can start to see a smattering of rain on there that's um that's now oh, that looks fantastic that looks really cool let's have a look then at standard rain so lighting changes tarmac is looking much wetter some puddles not very deep puddles though but some puddles will generate a little bit of spray and the spray does change guys depending on the kind of the amount of rain that you've actually got on the tarmac and if we look a little bit closer to the car now with those awesome flame effects on p1 looking great you can see that the car is now pretty wet um, and there is lots of great effects on there this interior view showing you the wipers and the smearing on the wipers and the glass roof looks stunning it looks really really cool even on the lights let's now have a look at some of the heaviest rain and some of the thunderstorms because I know we all want to see the thunderstorms so heavy rain clouds materialize a little bit darker but you can see materially more rain actually in the sky and you can see it landing on the ground a lot heavier as well puddles are still looking pretty fantastic now depending on the tracks that you're using as well guys the puddles will be different definitely use the main non modded tracks for this because I think it works best on those at the moment now a light thunderstorm a little bit less clouds but look how those clouds are moving as well a lot of rain actually on the ground the, the rain is actually a little bit lighter in the sky but those clouds look awesome and checking out one of my subscribers today in one of the comments they said dmax was saying how amazing this looks in vr i've not tried it in vr yet but you could literally take a walk around the tracks in vr with stunning rain and weather effects on i think that would be awesome let's try the main thunderstorm then see how this develops okay so the thunderstorm is not actually heavy rain i think there will start to be a little bit of water on the track this doesn't feel really heavy and the sky has actually got pretty scattered clouds wow amazing lightning effect there and of course you get the noises as well now which is brilliant let's put it on a heavy thunderstorm to see how this develops okay so again not a lot of puddles on there so it is a thunderstorm so i suppose that's classed as a passing thunderstorm and um, not lots of heavy rain but i do love how that spattering on the tarmac builds there that looks fantastic and guys you'll have to have a play about with the settings on here because i know that some of this rain will develop into puddles i am very sure but let's just listen to this thunder and lightning and the clouds just look at the clouds looking very very nice now one of the things I do want to show you is how advanced some of the physics are on this rain so it's not just a pattern that's landing on the windscreen 
So what I'm going to do here is switch the wipers off, take the auto off and put the wipers down to zero. Now apologies guys, I am just on keyboard here because I was just recording this in a certain way. But I'm just going to put really heavy rain on and I just want to show you the way that physics and the dynamics on the rain changes on the windscreen. So I've got no wipers on. Can you see how the rain's going backwards now as the G-force is hitting it? And then as I brake, as I accelerate and brake differently, the rain does different things. The flames look great in the rear view mirror as well. But look at that as it brake and as it accelerate. That is really, really cool. So if you do want to challenge, try going around a circuit with no wipers on. That would be very, very cool. Now that we've seen what the weather can do when it's linked between sol and custom shader patch, I'm just going to show you how to actually change this manually. So weather effects debug, which is at the bottom of the menu, gives you a lot of different options and shows you how the actual program is working in the background. So you can cycle through all these different options at the bottom here and it just gives you some examples and how it's actually working. Um, really, really cool stuff. But what we're interested in is the rain debug. So clicking on the top option there, you can see that some sliders come up there. Now, I'm going to show you how we can change these. So depending which weather you're on, it doesn't matter. You can actually adjust them manually. So you can see I can take all the rain off there. I can move it up halfway. I can have it to the top and it completely changes the way that the range working. Now, if you have got different kinds of rigs, you can see the frames per second is at the top as well. So that will help you to troubleshoot a little bit if it's running too slow on your computer. Now, the one I love is this middle one here where you can actually change the way that the track looks. So again, if you are using a modded track and you're having any problems, this might help you too. And then the bottom one is the standing water one. This is also really cool. So by using these different sliders, you could actually have it sunny, but with standing water, you could have it a quick shower. You can change it exactly how you want to. And guys, that's the power of Sol 2.0 and Custom Shader Patch 1.69 together. I can't thank the modders enough. So do go and support them. Go and support X4Fab on his Patreon page. I said you could only register for a month. You can register for as long as you want to and support those guys. And with Peter, I know he's got some PayPal pieces on his site where you can contribute to the work that he's doing. So guys, this is actually running in-game and I'm sure you'll agree, it looks absolutely stunning. One thing to point out that on my rig, I did get a few crashes when I started to ramp the number of cars up. So as you can see, I said it on my last video about the rain effects, there is so much going on here and I'm sure it's putting quite a lot of pressure on your CPU as well as your graphic card. So you might need to adjust a little bit the kind of races you're going to have if you're going to have full effects on like this. I mean guys, I've got absolutely everything on here and as you can see it looks stunning but you might need to throttle some of them back. I have been really excited waiting for Sol 2.0, the full version, and now using it with this custom shader patch 1.69, it looks incredible. And I hope you guys can follow this tutorial and get this running on your machine like this. Thank you so much for watching. As ever, I have had a brilliant time making this video. And do remember guys, if you're new here and you like what you see on the channel, I'd love to get you on board. So click on that subscribe button. Happy holiday season, and I'll see you soon guys.